Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We're doing another Ask PYS. We've got a question from Rick, a fellow boater. He asks, I'm going to remove two 8D batteries and replace them with six golf cart six volt batteries. Do you have any suggestions on first steps that I should do before disconnecting the old batteries? And what should I do before connecting the new batteries? All right, this is a good question. First thing, don't be a hero. Uh, whenever you're disconnecting batteries on a boat, do so slowly, methodically, and label everything. Uh, this is where an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Uh, there is no way uh, for anybody to do the disconnecting of a battery bank and be and act like a MacGyver. So the fact that you're asking the question means that you're sort of wondering how to do it slowly and do it right. So what I would do is first you won't want to worry about disconnecting all the loads from the battery. You're going to try to do that for everything, but unfortunately some of your loads are going to be still connected to the battery even though the battery switches are off. And so there are loads on your boat that are simply always on. So even when you dis with the battery switch off and you disconnect the cable, you're probably going to see some sparks. And that's okay because some loads like bilge pumps or carbon monoxide are directly connected to your batteries. Also, I may, may mention, and I want to re-emphasize, label every single wire. Use uh, maybe sort of painter's tape and do a quick schematic of where are all those cables. Even for us, sometimes when we disconnect a battery bank and we reconnect it, there's a lot of wires connected to the battery and you want to make sure that every single one of those wires go at the same place. Another thing to look for is unfortunately many of us have black wires that do positive and negative. So don't assume that the color of the wire or the cable is an indication of its purpose. It should be, but not always. So that's another thing. So disconnect the loads, label everything so that when you come back, the other thing is that if they're flooded lead acid batteries, you could have also have sulfuric acid at the bottom of the battery bank. So you're gonna to wanna to neutralize that with baking soda. And when you're connecting the batteries back on board, do it slowly, again, with the battery switch off. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually, you're gonna see probably a little bit of sparks that are gonna come in when you're gonna do the positive connection or the negative connection. Just don't do it slowly, just sort of be committed. Do it, put it in place and then make sure that all your nuts on every single one of the series and parallel connections are top notch. And once you're happy, measure the battery voltage from what you think positive and negative is because sometimes you can make a mistake. I've seen that before. Make sure you've got 12 volts. And then once you have 12 volts on that battery bank, then you can connect your loads, turn the battery switch on, and voila, you're done. Great question, Rick. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now and also thanks for watching.